When it comes to relocating video, there's one simple concept to keep in mind. Inputs and outputs. The GameCube itself has a bunch of inputs and outputs. For example, when you press the A button on your controller, that's an input. Or when you hook up your video cable to a TV, the GameCube outputs a video signal. To relocate composite video, you will need to rewire ground, power, and the composite video signal from the GameCube to your screen. Most screens that accept composite video will simply have the label AV or audio video on their circuit board. You can also check the data sheet if you're not sure. You also need to check what voltage your screen is powered off. This is very important. Some screens run off 12 volts, others run off 5 volts, and then some run off obscure voltages. You can often find this voltage printed on the back of your screen's circuit board or in the data sheet for your screen. If your screen does run off 12 volts, you can simply solder a wire connecting your screen's power line to the GameCube's 12 volt line. If your screen runs off 5 volts or a voltage lower than 12 volts, you will need a step down regulator to lower the GameCube's 12 volts. These regulators are very easy to wire up and can be purchased on eBay or just about any electronics website. One last thing wires tend to be color coded for organizational purposes black for ground, red for power and yellow for composite video. Without further ado, let's get started.